Now you might be having some smart home devices that connect to only Google Home. But now you want to control them using Home Assistant such that you can make use of the wide variety of options and make your home even more smarter. So in today's video, we will be looking at how you can control Google Home devices using Home Assistant. So with this, let's get started. So to begin with, what we are going to do is first of all, we are going to integrate the Google Assistant SDK with Home Assistant. Now using this Google Assistant SDK, we will then communicate with our devices that are connected to our Google Home. So let's do that first. So for this, I'm going to go to settings and then go to devices and services. And then I'm going to click on add integrations here. And here I'm going to search for Google. And then I'm going to select Google Assistant SDK. Now here what we need to do is that we need to provide it credentials such that Home Assistant can talk to the Google Assistant SDK. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this credentials link and this will open the Google Cloud Console for us. So first thing what we need to do is we need to create a project. So let me create a project here. So I'm just going to call it as Home Assistant Integration and then I'm going to click on Create. So now the project is created. What we need to do is we need to create credentials. Now, in case if you don't land on this page directly here, what you need to do is you need to click on this navigation menu here, click on API and services. And then after that, you will land on this page, then click on credentials here and then you can click on create credentials. So now here we will be selecting the OAuth client ID. So I'm going to select this and the first thing it will show you is that you need to configure this consent screen. So let me click on that. This is actually the menu that is available here. So you can directly click over here. And since you are not making use of the Google workspace, most of you will not be using it. You have to select external here and click on create. Now here I'm going to give it some app name. So I'm going to give it like home assistant integration. And here you need to specify the support email. So I'm going to select the email address of this Gmail account itself. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to give a developer contact email. So I'm going to give it the same email address and I'm going to click on save here. So now next it's going to ask you for some scopes and you don't need to do anything. Just click on save and continue. And then even adding users, don't do anything. Just click on save and continue. And then you have this summary here. So now you have configured the consent part here. Now what we need to do is we need to go back to the dashboard here. And then we have to click on publish. Now, if you don't see this view, then what you could always do is click on this OAuth consent screen and you should see this screen here. Now, what you need to do is you need to click on publish app. So I'm going to click on confirm here. So now we have this OAuth consent screen live. Now, next, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and create our credentials. So let's go to the credential section. I'm going to click on create credentials, OAuth client ID and here you are going to select the application type as web application. Now here I'm going to give the name as say home assistant application. And then you need to scroll down to this authorized redirect URIs. Now here you're going to click on add URI and you're going to set this URI. Now this URI is a fixed URI. You have to use this. I will provide this information into the description below and you can use this URI to paste it into this section here. Next, I'm going to click on create. And now you will get this client ID and client secrets. So what you need to do is you need to copy this, go back to home assistant and paste this here for the client ID. And you're going to copy this for the secret as well and paste it here. And I'm going to give it a name here like Google Assistant API and I'm going to click on add. And then you'll be redirected to the screen. Now here you need to select the Gmail address that is linked to your Google Home such that the Google SDK can then connect to your Google Home and then access those devices. Now this Gmail address need not be the same as what we used for actually creating the API credentials here. And you could have a completely different account that is linked to your Google Home. So right now I'm going to select this Gmail address. So here it is actually asking that Home Assistant IO can access your Google Assistant of this Google account. And this is something that we need to give consent to. So I'm going to click on continue now here and then I'm going to link this account. So now if you see the authentication is all completed, we have given consent. This means that the Google Assistant SDK is now linked to Home Assistant. 
and now we can actually use the Google Assistant SDK to talk to our Google Home devices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on finish here. And then if you see here, we have this Google Assistant SDK. So with this, it's not going to fetch all the devices, but what we have is an API through which we can talk to the Google Home devices. Now, before you start making use of the Google Assistant SDK, you need to enable Google Assistant API in your Google Cloud Console. So let's go back here and here I'm going to search for Google Assistant. So if you see here, this Google Assistant API, I'm going to click on that. And here I'm going to enable this Google Assistant API. Without enabling this API, Home Assistant cannot use this SDK to call the Google Assistant API. So now this API is enabled. And now what we are going to do is we are going to first see how Home Assistant can use the Google Assistant SDK to actually talk to one of our devices in Google Home. So for this, let me go to this developer tools and I'm going to open this services section here. Now, along with this, let me open my Google Home and show you what devices I have. So now in my Google Home, I have these devices. I have a Matter LED and I have a Google Home mini speaker. I can turn on this Matter LED as well as turn it off. It's actually turned off the light over there. So what we're going to do is let's try and see if we can set the volume of this bedroom speaker. So right now it is at 20%, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Google Assistant SDK here and I'm going to select this send text command service here. And here I'm going to select command and I'm going to say set bedroom speaker volume to 40. And then I call this service here. So if you see, it actually set the volume of my Google Home Mini to 40%. So this is how you actually can now send commands using the SDK to your Google Home devices. Now, this is the same thing as if you had to say to your Google Home Mini speaker to set the volume to 40. We have to write exactly that command in this text box. So now this is how I set the volume to 40, right? Now let's look at how we can actually turn on this matter LED. So let me type in like turn on the matter LED command and I'm going to say call device. So if you see here, this matter LED has now come on. Let's ask it to turn it off. So turn off the matter LED. And with this, the matter LED is now also turned off. So it takes about a second or two because the reason is that you're using Home Assistant, which is communicating with the SDK and then using the SDK, it is then trying to control your Google Home devices. So now let's go ahead and look into some automation through which we can control devices in our Google Home, right? So let's consider for an example, like I'm using this matter LED, which is connected to my Google Home. Right now it's an overkill wherein I am controlling the matter LED from Google Home using Home Assistant and we could actually natively connect this matter LED to Home Assistant. Now this is just as an example. Now in case if you're interested in how we can control matter devices in all ecosystems, then I have a video here wherein I have shown you how you can use this matter Zigbee bridge to control Zigbee devices across all the ecosystems that is Google Home, Apple Home and Home Assistant using this Zigbee Matter Bridge. So you can refer to that video. Now let's go ahead and create the simple automation to just turn off and turn on this Matter LED. Now a simple command that you can use is you could say toggle the Matter LED. So when I call this service and if you see here, it actually turns on this Matter LED. And then when I call this service back again with the same command, it also turns off this matter LED. So I can use this text to actually turn on and turn off the matter LED. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple helper button for this. So let's go ahead to settings. And then in the settings, I'm going to go to devices and services and I'm going to create a helper button. So I'm going to click on create helper and I have this button here and I'm going to call this as Google Home Matter LED and I'm going to click on create. And now we have this Google Home Matter LED. I'm going to create an automation for this button that I have just created. So for this, I'm going to go to settings, 
automations and I'm going to click on create automation and here I'm going to select create new automation. Now in the trigger section, I'm going to go to entity and then here I'm going to select state. Now in the entity section, I'm going to select the Google Home Matter LED entity here. And then I'm not going to specify anything else and I'm going to go now to the action section. So now in the action section here, I'm going to select the SDK. So I'm going to search for SDK and then I'm going to select this send text command. And here in the command section, I'm going to paste this command that is toggle matter LED. So this is a simple automation that I'm creating right now to control the matter LED that is connected to my Google Home. So I'm going to save this automation. So I'm just going to call this as Google Home Matter LED automation and I'm going to click on save. So now let's go ahead and test that helper button. So let me go back to settings. I'm going to go to devices. I'm going to go to the helper section. And here I have this Google Home Matter LED. So now let's go ahead and look into our Google Home here. So when I click on press here, if you see right now, the matter LED is turned on. Now this took around like two seconds to do this thing. That is the command got relayed from home assistant to the Google assistant SDK. And then it went to the device that is connected to your Google home. So with the same thing, now I have turned on the matter LED. Now let's press it again. And with this, the matter LED will now turn off. So now this is a simple automation that I just created. Now you can have quite many devices that only support say Google Home integration. And then using this mechanism, you can then control those Google Home devices inside Home Assistant. So now the most simplest thing that we are going to do is we are going to add this to our dashboard. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to edit and then I'm going to select on this. I'm going to select tile and then here I'm going to search for the Google Home matter led and i'm going to click on save so i'm going to click on done here so now i can click on this and turn on my matter led connected to my google home and then also i can turn this off using this button from the dashboard so we just saw how we can control google home devices using home assistant now i keep on making videos around how you can make things smart at home so make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button for more such videos to come now if you want to support this channel there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via patreon till then take care and i will see you in my next one